We are back in the cockpit, and it is time to start the engines. Usually, when we start the engines, the ECAM engine page is displayed. However, for training purposes only, we will keep the ECAM electrical page displayed throughout the flight. The electrical system is designed so that each engine generator will automatically come online and power its respective bus. We will start engine 2 first. Click on engine 2. The engine is running. Notice the generator automatically supplies the right side of the electrical system, leaving the APU to power the left side. Notice also that the fault light on the generator 2 push-button switch has disappeared. Engine 1 can now be started. Click on Engine 1. The Engine 1 generator takes over from the APU to supply the left-hand side of the system. The fault light on the generator 1 push-button switch has also disappeared. The APU is no longer connected to the system and the APU generator is now showing 0% load. Once both engines are running, the APU can be switched off. Switch off the APU. The electrical system is now in the normal configuration for taxi, takeoff and landing. In a normal flight, no further change occurs to the electrical configuration until the APU start on taxiing in. We have just landed and are taxiing to the gate. We will start the APU for you. The APU is now available and is standing by to take over from the engine driven generators when the engines are shut down. Both engines can now be shut down. Click on either engine. Both engines are stopped. The APU generator is back online and has automatically taken over supplying the entire electrical system. For training purposes, we will assume that the aircraft is to be completely shut down. So you have to request an external power source. Click on the mechanic. The avail light on the panel and the external power indications on the ECAM have appeared, indicating that the external power source is plugged in and available. Select External Power On. The on light is illuminated in the external power push-button switch and the green lines to AC bus 1 and 2 indicate that external power has taken over from the APU. We can now shut down the APU. Shut down the APU. The external power can now be switched off. Switch the external power off. When all the main power sources are disconnected, the CRT screens become blank. To shut down the entire electrical system, we must switch off the batteries. This will be done for you. All lights on the overhead panel have disappeared, except the avail light, which is receiving power from the external cart. The battery voltage indications are LCDs, 
are now wired directly to the batteries so that they are always displayed. The aircraft is now considered to be electrically shut down. This completes the normal operation modules.